It has been eight weeks uh, since municipal workers in the city of Tuani have downed tools in response to salaries not being increased following a 2021 salary increase agreement. As a result, the city has seen services such as water infrastructure maintenance, electricity distribution, waste collection and transport suffering. Now municipal employees are seeking a 5.4% wage increase while the city of Tuani maintains that the hike is unaffordable. Bahai to Dumelang, good evening. My name is Tambo Molokwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we discuss the ongoing municipal workers strike in the city of Tuani and seek to get a better understanding of the current situation. Now to help us bring light to this is Precious Teledi, who is the Tuani Regional Secretary for the South African Municipal Workers Union, Samu. She's joining us via Zoom. Precious, thanks very much for taking the time. Good evening, welcome to the show. Uh, good evening, thanks for hosting me. Much appreciated. Uh, Precious, um, before we start the conversation, I mean, it's been eight weeks uh, since the strike began, but you know, till this day, there seemed to be no solution or a way forward. Maybe just talk us through this. You know, are negotiations with the city still underway at this point, or there's nothing that is happening on the table? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing happening on the table. Uh, the city's adamant. They're not going to speak to us. We are willing to speak to them. Uh, uh, our willingness uh, is, 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 is seen when we, we, we went uh, and, 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 and participated in, in a CCMA Section 150 meeting that uh, took place uh, sometime last week. And uh, the, the senior commissioner has issued uh, a, a, some form of a peace accord. But uh, we since learned that the, the, the executive mayor uh, alone uh, is saying uh, they, are, they, they are not taking that. And uh, the, 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 uh, the MEC for local government also tried to intermediate, intervene. And uh, the, the executive mayor is, is, is showing a middle finger for, for, for the mediation. So, uh, and, 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 and to say we are on strike, we are re reiterating uh, some is not on strike. Our workers are, are, are at their workplaces, but uh, the city is not uh, coming to the party. The city is not willing to meet uh, workers halfway and ensure that they pay the collective agreement as, 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 as signed. Mm. I mean, among others, the um, you know uh, well, employees are demanding a 5.4 percent wage increase, uh, you know, for themselves. There is that figure still the same uh, as you're saying that look um, that there's nothing that is happening currently. Now we we saw with the city of Tuani just going to the bargaining council there, trying to get exempted from implementing those salary increases, but it was dismissed by the. Uh, uh, bargaining council there. Um, is the figure still the same, uh, just, uh, you know, on the inflation target? Yes, we, 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 we are still demanding our, our for uh, payable by the 1st of July. When five, that uh, was supposed to be paid in uh, 2021, and uh, it's 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 now hanging dormant at, at at the labor court. But when we were initially when we were discussing with the city, we indicated that uh, this year's increase supposed to pay it, and uh, if they can pay it, since they, they were claiming they don't have money, they can pay it uh, in a staggered manner, and that away. And now the uh, Salga, uh, the beginning council, has dismissed their exemption and uh, they, they, they are supposed to pay uh, the entire 5.4 uh, workforce. So we, we, they, they are saying they are going to uh, review. 
we are awaiting their reviewal. We will also deal with the reviewal, and uh, we, we 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 know for a fact that uh, uh, it's it's going to 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 be dismissed as well. Remember, when you review, you don't review, you don't necessarily review the the outcome. The outcome is there; they must pay. They must uh, find a way of reviewing uh, the, the 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 commissioner where we are. Seated, uh, there's nothing wrong that the commissioner has done. Uh, the simplest way is to give the outcome that, that she gave. So we, we are hopeful that uh, the review will come our favor and uh, we, we, we will deal with that one uh, when the time is right. Because ah. they mm -hmm. indicated 15 minutes after the outcome that they are reviewing, but they have not even filed the, 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 the documentation to review. So mm -hmm. we'll be waiting for them to submit and we take it from there. Okay, I, I'm interested, you know, in this because now you will be waiting for the reviews. Um, um, maybe just confirm to us, are the workers back, uh, you know, at their post? Because we saw what has been happening over the past few weeks uh, with, uh, you know, waste not collected. Obviously, uh, service delivery in its knees. The city, yes, did maintain that it had no money. But uh, you're saying that, look, we're going to wait for the review. Uh, uh, as uh, a union just to understand exactly what will be the way forward. But, uh, you know, I just want to get a sense from you. With the DA, uh, I mean, has been in power in 20, since 2016. I mean, seven years later, um, uh, they're still complaining about the damages that were caused by the ANC. Uh, um, do you think that, uh, you know, do they still need more time to run the city? Because it seems like they're failing to do it. Uh, in as much as uh, your question is tempting for me to respond, uh, however, I'm not going to respond. Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm a unionist. I'm not a politician. I, do, I, I don't want uh, to be like our executive mayor and venture into politics. The executive mayor is a politician uh, uh, and he's dealing with administrative matters. So I don't want to be like him and, and, and avoid dealing with administrative matters as as an official and then venture into politics. So I will not necessarily respond on that one. But where we are sitting, uh, we, we never had uh, a challenge with uh, which political party is leading the municipality. Uh, we have a challenge when an administration, uh, irrespective of a political party, they are not taking workers very seriously. That's where we, we, we will come in and we will fight with everything that we have. We've been fighting the we fought the administrator that was brought here by the ANC. But there's nothing new. As long as uh, the administrator is not for the workers, definitely we will stand with the workers. Precious lady, uh, I want us to hold it uh, right there. We will continue with you just after the ad break, just to get a sense of, uh, you know, uh, some of those things, the agreements uh, that uh, are supposedly coming. Uh, with regard to the issues there at the city of Tony. Do stay right there. We're coming after this. Welcome back. You're still watching So It's Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We continue the conversation on the municipal workers' strike in the city of Tony. Still joining us uh, via Zoom is uh, Precious Teledi, who is the South African uh, Workers' Union uh, Regional uh, secretary there in uh, Tswani there uh, joining us via Zoom as we get an update on the eight week long municipal workers strike in the city of Tswani. We just thanks very much uh, for staying on. Uh, I mean we have seen reports of cars being set alight as well as being stoned and you know uh, there are allegations that uh, this is uh, by your members uh, as we heard the city uh, in previous uh, statements that they've released that uh, some of your workers are the ones that are actually committing these atrocious acts. Uh, is this the case? And then what is being done with the violence around uh, this, uh, uh, you know, illegal strike? You know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate uh, that the city would uh, uh, pin everything on Samu. And yet, uh, when they, they took Samu to court on contempt, they were unable to prove that indeed uh, Samu is on strike, Samu is violating the interdict. 
And uh, we, we also issued a, a statement indicating that we, we, we can be happy and, and rejoice when uh, our tools of trade are destroyed. Remember, uh, this is what we, we, we use to ensure that we do our job. Uh, as some, we, we, we condemn uh, all, all these things that are happening. Uh, and uh, we, we, we believe that uh, these are crimin criminality, pure criminality, and we, we expect the police to, to, to ensure that uh, they apprehend uh, those that are, are touching our tools of trade. Mm. Uh, this can, 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 cannot be pinned on some. Some, uh, we, are, we, are, we are not taking responsibility for what is happening. The city as, as the employer is the one that when members were indicating uh, the, the, the fear of, of going out there and providing service, uh, they promised uh, to, to, to protect them. And with what is happening, it's evident uh, that the city is not doing anything. The only areas that they, 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 you will see Metropolis escorting our employees, our members to go and, and, and do their work are uh, affluent areas. You'll go to Atrishville, go to, to Hamaskral, to Mamilodi, to Social Nguve, where services is also needed. But you won't see any 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 vehicle of the municipality being escorted. So uh, this cannot this is not uh, true. This cannot be true that uh, uh, someone is responsible for that. Some we are at work. We are expecting to be provided with tools of trade and and ensure that we do our work. Precious, I want us now to focus on the status of um, service delivery. What is currently happening now? I know that you said that, uh, uh, you know, uh, your workers uh, are, I mean, the employees are back at their posts and stuff. What is the situation? And I mean, you've alluded to the fact that uh, you see, uh, you know, uh, municipal service cars being escorted in affluent areas and are not in the um, townships and other things. But in terms of service delivery, where are we sitting now? Unfortunately, uh, uh, service delivery is, is, is uh, it's not, it's not where it's supposed to be. Uh, simply because of wh what is happening with uh, municipal vehicles, perhaps. I can't be speaking on behalf of, 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 of the city. But that's uh, that's that's my thinking because our our members uh, they are not provided with with those trucks to do work uh, because of the fear probably of them being tortured. Uh, touched. Uh, we 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 have seen uh, uh, meter readers. They are supposed to to go to various areas to 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 do meter reading, and they are not provided with vehicles to ensure that they uh, reach those areas that they're supposed to 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 do meter reading we have seen uh uh Yang and bus service where the, the 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 buses have been uh withdrawn uh they they they, they are seated there not providing that service where commuters can commuters can utilize the buses so uh where where where, where i'm sitting i i i see that uh Service delivery, service delivery is hampered uh, with uh, what is transpiring in the city. But it's, it's for, 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 for the employer to ensure that uh, they do everything humanly possible to keep what is happening and ensure that uh, service delivery is, 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 is available for residents of the city. So which means that it's uh, safe to say that uh, service delivery is non-existent. But uh, nevertheless, I want us to get into the issue of the employees that were dismissed there. Uh, we know that over 100 employees were dismissed by the city as a result of this illegal uh, uh, strike there. Um, um, uh, what is currently happening? Are there any um, you know, meetings that are happening in order to make sure that uh, those employees are getting their jobs back or that's it? Uh, yes, uh, there, there, there are employees who are dismissed and uh, uh, we, 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 we are representing them. Uh, we took the matter to uh, uh, Salga, to the beginning council uh, for conciliation. 
and uh, the senior commissioner, uh, because we, we, we were raising our matter and the city was raising a different matter, they then uh, uh, decided that we should go back and, and submit uh, and, and provide written submissions uh, within 21 days. So uh, we are waiting for the 21 days and uh, go back to, to conciliation. And uh, the city is continuing to dismiss uh, uh, employees. We have uh, now since seen uh, six people being dismissed uh, yesterday uh, from twenty bus service. Uh, so we we are definitely uh, uh, defending our 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 members because some is not on strike, and uh, so it's so unfortunate their dismissal letters are the same, even the ones that they were dismissed uh, yesterday. Their uh, letter for dismissals, it, it indicates the 26th of July, 27th of July. You know, the, the city doesn't even understand what they're doing, but they continue to dismiss people. We mm -hmm. are definitely uh, uh, representing our members. Precious, thanks very much for coming through. I hope, uh, you know, I was wishing that we could go through uh, some of uh, these issues, particularly looking at what is it that you would have, uh, you know, hoped as uh, a union as you are still waiting for uh, that review by the city. But thanks very much for taking the time and joining us. Much appreciated. That was uh, Regional Secretary of the South African Municipal Workers Union, Precious Taledi, detailing the plight of the municipal workers who have been striking in the city of 24 over a month now. I want us to take a short breather. When we come back, we will hear from the Democratic Alliance 20 caucus spokesperson, Gwena Muloto. Do stay with us. Welcome back uh, to Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Mulukwani. We continue the conversation on the municipal workers' strike in the city of Tuani. Now we speak to Kwena Muloto, who is the Democratic Alliance Tuani caucus spokesperson. So to find out more about the current situation and what needs to be done, he's joining us uh, via Zoom there. Kwena, much appreciated. Thanks for joining us. Yes, Gwena, um, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I want to understand, I mean, according to you, what is really going on, uh, you know, in the city of Tuani? Uh, we know that uh, municipal workers have been, you know, at loggerheads with the municipality for quite some time now. And obviously that has disrupted services there. What is the current situation now? No, look, uh, as the DA called were clear. This started off as a labor dispute, but it has very quickly um, degenerated into pure criminality. Uh, the reality is, is that we're seeing unprecedented violence. Uh, just last week uh, on Wednesday, we saw four municipal vehicles get burned. We've seen a member um, of uh, the well, a worker in the municipality get shot who refused to put down his tools. Uh, who was ho hospitalized as a result. Uh, the reality is, is that, that this has uh, completely degenerated into pure criminality. Um, as the city of Tuani, we're, we're very clear that, that we're not willing to negotiate with a gun uh, at our head. Um, we, we believe that there are processes that uh, can be followed, uh, such as the labor court, um, where we've now gone um, as a result of the bargaining council's decision to, to not grant our request for um, uh, the 5.5 percent increase to, to not be paid and we're saying that let's allow for those processes to to go to go to go on um, and and not uh, have uh, municipal employees shutting down the city and it's a very few by the way majority of workers are back majority of workers are wanting to work but there's a handful um, that are politicized and that are are organized crime essentially that uh, are, are are really holding the the city hostage and are attempting to bring the city to to its knees. Mm. I, I mean, Gwen, how do we then uh, you know go about dealing with the plight of municipal workers? Because whether we agree on the method of a strike or not, obviously uh, it has been deemed illegal. You know, workers are feeling disgruntled. So how do we deal with the root? 
uh, 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 issue. I mean, you're saying that, look, you won't be negotiating with a gun in your head and stuff. But what needs to be done? Because uh, at the center of this uh, service delivery, it's on its knees. No, look, I think first and foremost, it's important to clarify that uh, resident, I mean, uh, municipal workers in the city of Tswane are paid extremely well um, as compared to um, their counterparts inside the private sector. You'll know that, for example, uh, call center agents inside the city of Tswane can earn up to 35,000 rand a month, while in the private sector, a call center agent that's uh, had 10, 15 years experience will likely only be earning between 15 and 17. And so I think it's one important to dispel the myth that, that municipal workers aren't getting paid while well. they get paid very well. Um, we're, we're a good employee in that sense. Now, I understand the plight of the workers. The reality is, is that life is getting more expensive, and it's something that we all feel. Um, but the reality is that as a municipality, we, we have to put our residents first. And as you rightfully said, service delivery is, as, as currently, we're, we're on our knees. Um, but but that, that inside uh, the minds of the, the DA and, and, and um, the municipality um, is, is incorrect. Uh, as I said, there are processes that we should follow and we should allow for them to be finalized. Uh, the reality is, is that the bargaining council agreed with workers, um, even though we believe that the argument was flawed. The bargaining council said that we should honor the 5.5% increase. Both parties knew that the next step, if they felt that the uh, bargaining council ruling was, was not fair, that they could approach the labor courts. But we're saying allow the legal process um, to, to take place, uh, but to, to, to actively destroy the city uh, we're seeing trash piling up. Um, there's there's hundreds of workers that, that have lost their jobs, and we commend the executive mayor uh, for taking that hard stance and, and actually bringing consequence management to the city of Tswane. But but we, for example, look at Imatu, um, and Imatu has been following the, the processes. Imatu hasn't been um, shutting down uh, and, and um, the city, uh, and some, on the other hand, has. And, and what we're asking for is for, for, for Samu, to show the same responsible leadership that Imatu is showing, allow the processes to take place, and, and let's work together. We're here to serve our residents, um, and they're the ones that are suffering the most as a result um, of this, uh, as you said, illegal strike. Mm. I, I mean, in the interest of time, because I have to let you go there, I mean, as far as you're concerned, there are, uh, you know, um, I, I mean, are there any, uh, if I may put it that way, political undertones to the strike action um, and you know what on a political level needs to be done uh, in order to see a resolution in this issue I mean you are speaking about someone and I saw that uh, uh, the DA laid criminal charges uh, against the members of Samu there you know for conspiracy uh, to sabotage service delivery uh, which happened uh, just recently there this after you know that message that was cascaded from that uh, telegram uh, media group of uh, just over 2,000 members there. Um, uh, what needs to be done on a political level? And also, um, you know, um, are, are we likely to, to, to see, you know, services resuming and then all political parties there, uh, including the unions, working together? No, look, uh, I think that uh, we've made our stance very clear um, as the DA, and I think that the executive mayor in his capacity uh, as mayor has also made a stance very clear, is that we don't feel that there can be a political solution to this issue. Um, if, if your house was being burnt down, uh, you wouldn't uh, look to your neighbor uh, to try and mediate between uh, the arsonist um, and you. You would uh, call on uh, 10 one. Um, to intervene um, and for justice to be served. And we feel that this is no different. Our, our city is being burnt down. Um, and, and if we find a political solution, we're legitimizing violence as a means of negotiation. And it's something that we refuse to do. Um, people need to start going to, to jail. And the executive mayor has written to the minister of police, um, as well as uh, the MEC of Kokta and Gauteng, to say that we need um, we need them to, to step in and enforce the law. This is not a labor dispute, it's criminality. Um, and so, so, so far, for, from our standpoint, um, 100% there cannot be a political solution to it. To answer your second question, 
um, regarding whether this has been politicized. I think it has. Um, and I think you can look at um, the fact that uh, council now, council meetings are being hamstrung by the EFF, who are saying that no council decisions will, will take place until the workers um, are reinstated and that the 5.5% increase is paid. Um, it's 100% coordinated and 100% uh, political. Uh, the reality is, is that uh, at a provincial level, the EFF and the ANC have for quite some time been looking to put the city under administration. And, and this is just playing into that. Uh, but we're saying that, that we will fight tooth and nail. The last time the city was put under administration, we went from having a 400 million rand uh, budget uh, positive to a 4 billion rand budget deficit in just a matter of seven, eight months. We refuse to go down that road again. The only intervention will accept from province is not administration, but the assistance in mobilizing the South African police force uh, to protect our infrastructure and to protect our residents and protect the workers um, that, that are being intimidated and that are being injured. And I said in the most extreme example that had been shot by, by striking workers. Quina, thanks very much. I wish we had more time, but much appreciated uh, for your time there. Uh, Quina Maloto, who is the DA caucus spokesperson, giving us more insight into the situation in the city of Swani, which has had municipal workers striking for the past eight weeks. Uh, thank you to my earlier guest, uh, Precious uh, Teledi there, who is the regional secretary for the South African Municipal Workers Union, for also weighing in on the discussion. We just hope that uh, things will return to normalcy in the city of Swani as we see there's a lot of dirt piling up on the streets in the capital city there. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Just send us an email at today at sowetotv.co.za. Alternatively, you can call or WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. For myself, Tabo Mulukwani, and the rest of the team, Mas Chabakobola has your primetime news up next. Good night, and thank you for watching.